Only a back workout. So I've got a band with handles on it. This is a pretty heavy band, pretty resistant band. Got an infinity band right here, and then a mini band. All right, here. So we're gonna start off with the infinity band to warm up the back, warm up those lats. I'm gonna take those hands up overhead, and when I pull down, I'm gonna try to stretch that band out, and then release it. Pulling down, and release. Three, four, you can almost see my head. Five, six, let me make sure my volume's up. Yeah. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And release. I'm just going to start down at the hips and I'm going to pull up overhead, stretch out those shoulder joints, and come back down to those hips. Let's do three more. One more. And we're going to pull it up, stretch out that lat, just stretch it over right here, and switch. And we're going to push down in front, separate those shoulder blades in the back. And release it. Alright, maybe I should turn the lats on. Probably a little bit better. Alright, let's get started. We're gonna start off with a kneeling low row, mini band low row. So I'm gonna take this mini resistance band, strap it to the bottom of my foot, and when I pull, my elbow stays into my rib cage. So I'm gonna go for 10. And since I'm switching sides every time, I don't really have to rest in between, so I'm just going to go back and forth. This is the left side, set two.
and 10, release it. You get my coffee all the way up here. All right, and then we're going to grab this infinity band. We're going to sit in a pike position, so feet on front. You're going to put this band at the bottom of the feet, and then we're going to do a reverse grip lower up. So reverse grip, we're going to keep the palms facing up, grip that band, and the elbows will stay into that rib cage again. Keep them in nice and tight. We will do some high rows, but right now we're focusing on that reverse grip low row. All right, I'm going to put my shoes on because it kind of hurts without shoes with that band. All right, here we go. Palms up. One, two, three. Elbow stays in, 
to that rib cage. Two, three, four, Really challenging on the core. And switch. I'm going to go 10, 8, 6 on these. 1, 2, 3. And 10. Release it. Gets my heart rate up. We'll go 10 on each side and 8 on each side and then 6 on each side. If you guys want to jump in on this, jump on in. We're doing band only back so you don't you need minimal equipment. Get these jams back. Let's go. Uh, okay, we got one more set of six. If this wants to play some music, what are you guys chatting about up here? Yeah, sometimes intermittent fasting works for some people and doesn't work for others, but I work with a lot of people who do do it and it's good stuff. Yeah, having an eating window from like noon to eight gives your body enough time to digest everything that you're eating, but I personally do not intermittent fast. Just because I wake up starving, but it's good to boost your metabolism that way. All right, let's do sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Really sad. I'd love to have some music on right now. Get some water while I'm figuring out these jams. Um, let's try to connect again. Connected. Play some non copyright music. Non copyright music is not the best. I wish there were some better songs, but obviously, I know why. Alright, we're gonna do some high rows. So we're gonna be standing up for those high rows. Here he comes. I think. Woo! Okay. I'll use this blue band, this heavy resistant band, and I'm gonna put my shoes back on since it's going around the bottom of my feet. In case you guys are wondering, because I know someone's gonna ask. Alright, 
hip hinge, high row. So you got a little bit in the knee, we're hinging at the waist, and the elbows are going to come out to the side on this one. Make sure your band is nice and even on both sides so you have the same weight.
going again, sit up to lat pull down. But this time we're doing eight reps. So we're going to sit up, pull down using that back, control on the way up.
All right, one more at six. Like I said, don't take a lot of rest in between them since you're working different sets. Hips high, row. Two. And six, switch it up. Half plank. Oh, or it's a low plank actually, because we're on our elbow. And six. Down, up, and rest. My core is tired. What's up, Bent Top? Thanks for wishing me a good workout. All right, but we are just about to finish up, so we're going to start stretching a little bit, stretching out those back muscles. So we did, you got all the rows in there. You got your face pulls, you got your high rows, two kinds of low rows. Um, one thing we didn't do is reverse flies but I did those on shoulder day. So reverse fly hits the rear delt, which is considered the back of your body, I guess, but I worked that on shoulders. So we're just gonna take this band and we're gonna take it around the bottom of the foot or the shoe, and we're gonna separate those shoulder blades in the back. Just trying to pull them apart. Leaves it, take it up, stretch out the side, and switch. We're stretching out the lat right here. And release. So we're going to go seated, cross body stretch. So we'll take the leg over. I hope you guys stretch out your workouts while your muscles are nice and warm. And switch, cross and twist. And release it, we're going to lay on the back, take the knee up, cross it over. And then if your left leg is crossed over the right, Look back at that left hand. So we did our we did our reverse grip low row, we did our plank low row, high rows, you did your side oblique with that face pull. And let's switch sides. And then we did our minivan low row. So you kind of got three kinds of low rows in there, but one was reverse grip and one was in a high plank. Five exercises, take 30 seconds in between them. And release it, let's sit up. And forward fold. Hit that hamstring up into that low back. And we're going to go into a child's pose and stretch out the lats that way. So for sitting back in child's pose, I want you to walk your hands over to one side and you should feel a stretch all down the side of that back. And we'll walk it around to the other side. And release it. Let's go into some hip flexor stretches. 
What we got going on over here? <laughs> I was doing that five minutes ago. Good back workout. Big muscle groups burn a lot of calories, so. Backs, quads, glutes. Hit flexor stretch, we're gonna go into a runner's lunge. And we'll shift the weight back. Get that hamstring in there, even though we didn't do hamstrings specifically today. It's really important to keep them flexible and pliable. And switch. Runner's lunge, and then we'll do a little recap of the exercises we did. And shift back. And release it. So we started off with the mini resistance band around the bottom of the shoe. And we did a low row this way. And then we went into a high plank, low row. So you strap the band around the hand. And then you want to pull, elbow comes back to that rib cage. And that high plank. And then we had a seat and we did our reverse grip low row. So bands are on the bottom of the feet. And then palms are up, and we pull back. And I let it come down nice and controlled. So you wanna pull back with one count, three counts coming forward. And then we stood up and we did our split stance high row. Right here, elbows came out in that high row. Oh, actually we did six, I forgot. And then we did our sit up to lat pull down. Sit up to lat pull down. And release it. And then we did our side plank hip dip. Right here, you can also try to come up to that full base pull, hip dip. Or on your elbow, right here. Or you can drop that bottom knee if you need another option. Right there, so that one's hitting your obliques. So band only back day, if you guys want to use a couple of those before you lift some heavy back, you can also do that as well. You guys have a happy Thursday.